So we're heading into Longhorn Steakhouse for our evening meal. Let's go in and check it out. This looks pretty cool. There we go. So as you guessed, this is a steakhouse. A bit like Outback. Nice big wraparound bar there. Nice big seating area. Some booths. This looks quite cool. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Wow, so we got seated like instantly. It's not busy at all, but quick pan around. You can see there's booth area. There's like um, mainly booth area, really. So a few tables in the middle. And uh, yeah, famous for its steaks. We'll uh, see what it's all about. So our server, Sean, has just come over and explained the menu to us. Um, it's obviously famous for its steaks from sirloins right up to the Longhorn. You've got prime rib, fillet, feet, New York strip, uh, fillets, ribeye, flat iron steak, all different prices from $13.49 right up to the most expensive, which is $29. Um, cook it the way you want it. You get the choice of a side and a salad as well. They don't just do steak, they do salmon, shrimp, pork chops, baby back ribs, Napa grilled chicken, Parmesan crusted chicken and the prices aren't too bad. I mean for the Parmesan crusted chicken you're looking at $15.29, uh, pork chops $17.79, shrimp $18.79 so it's not too bad. Quite a lot to choose from. You've got appetizers for sharing, all kinds of good stuff there, spicy chicken bites, chili cheese fries, uh, white cheddar stuffed mushrooms, firecracker chicken wraps, signature soups, uh, loads of bottles of beer and cocktails, wines, all kinds of good stuff. If you go on the website they've got a full menu on there so rather than me just sort of like flicking through this you can go onto their website, check out the menu. The Longhorn, look at that. The citrus herb chimichurri salmon and the fire grilled Hawaiian ribeye, wow they look good. Fire grilled corn on the cob. All oh, looks really good, doesn't it? Strawberry and pecan salad, wild west shrimp, all good stuff. So if you're not sure on how you want your uh, steaks cooked, they've actually got a little guide there, so it tells you all the way from rare right up to well done, gives you a little picture of what it should look like inside. So if you want it dead, go for well done. If you want it still bleeding, go for rare. But we've gone for Flo's fillet and a ribeye steak and uh, we'll see what it's like when it arrives. So just like most restaurant chains, they come out with some baked bread. And, uh, baked bread? Baked? It is, it's baked. What do you think of it? Nice? You say it's a bit like a uh, Cheesecake Factory. Lighter. A bit lighter, yeah. yeah. And what, what do you think, Aaron? It's good, yeah? Excellent. Also, another thing is they do Bud Light and Miller's, 250 all day, every day, for a glass like that tall. That's pretty good. Pip has gone for a Sauvignon Blanc. Cool. So this is the kids menu real quick. It's for kids under 12. Um, you've got kids mac and cheese, grilled tenders, cheeseburger, chicken tenders, and a kids sirloin steak. Sirloin steak's $8.49. Mac and cheese is $5.49. The others are $6.49. And they all come with fresh fruit, a side of steamed broccoli or seasoned fries, and milk or fruit juice. And you've got smoothies, which are $2.49. Banana breeze. Raspberry Dream and Peanut Butter Cup Chill. Pretty good. So the food has arrived. This is my ribeye, and it looks it looks amazing. Comes with a or well, I chose a loaded jacket, and for some reason I went for rice. I don't know why. Pippa said, "Why'd you go for rice?" But I like rice. I like the pilau rice. But um, yeah, that looks amazing. And then you've gone for the Flo's Filo. Flo's Filo. Pippa's gone for Flo's Filo with also a loaded jacket. And it looks tasty. And Erin's gone for chicken tenders with some fruit. You could do some damage with that knife, couldn't you? Look at the size of that. As you can see, mine is medium, cooked to perfection. This is absolutely delicious. It is melt in your mouth, gorgeous. Really, really good. The loaded jacket is full of sour cream, cheese, bacon bits and chives and uh, yeah that looks pretty awesome. Pippa's getting through hers, what do you think of it? Any good? It's nice. Yeah? yeah. Very good. Compared to Outback, what do you think? Yeah, the steaks are much nicer than Outback. Yeah? 
bigger as well. So Idaho potatoes work. Yeah, Idaho bigger, bigger, baked potatoes. Bigger variety, but they are yeah. really nice. Very good. Yeah, we would go to say that these are better than Outback steaks. We could be wrong, but in our opinion, they are better. And also the loaded jackets are much better as well. They taste a lot fresher, don't they? Not like they've been sitting around for a long time. But yeah, all in all, good. So what are yours like, Erin? Really good? Out of 10? 10. Good. As you can see, we hated it. Absolutely hated it. Plates are empty. No, it's really good. Absolutely gorgeous. Really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. Erin's still going with her chicken tenders. And uh, yeah, I'd go to, to say that that was probably better than Outback by a long shot. So yeah, very, very impressed with that. We're not going to bother doing dessert because we always get stuff. They've got some good stuff on there. 8.79, 9.79, chocolate stampede and a caramel apple gold rush, strawberries and cream shortcake, molten lava cake, red and white blue cheesecake, and they're 7.99. They look absolutely gorgeous, but like always when we come out to eat in Orlando, we get stuffed so quickly. The portions are huge, but if you want to go for your desserts, that's what they look like. So the bills arrived and it came to a total of 68.55, which we didn't think was too bad because we had two uh, big steaks really. We had the ribeye and um, Flo's fillet. Um, yeah, so pretty good value. Bud Blight's 250, had two of those. Pippa Sauvignon Blanc was 8.29. So yeah, not too bad at all. That was without the tip, we obviously tipped separately. But yeah, definitely recommend this place if you like your steaks. So yeah, brilliant stuff. There's another shot of the bar over there. And we're done. So if you like your steaks, definitely check out Longhorn. It's really good, really enjoyed it. Um, good atmosphere. And there's a few of these in the Orlando area, so make sure you check it out. Good value and good steaks. Longhorn Steakhouse, done.